G'day and welcome back. Let's play some more Wings Remastered with our brand new second lieutenant who hasn't been on any missions. We've been hearing a lot more about this Richthofen fellow. Belka must have trained him well as he's been on a brick killing frenzy all month. Farah is offering a week of leave in exchange for Richthofen's flight gear. I think we're all overreacting. He's just some lucky flyer on a hot streak. Probably won't see him today as I'm off to bomb a train at All Noir. I would like a shot at that leave time. The Richthofen is coming along. Right, bomb the train. Nice easy one. As I dove on All Noir, I saw a sign on the side of the train that read, Herr Trenchard, please give your pilots a rest. Too bad I wasn't feeling particularly tired. Yet. Stop shooting at me, Swan. Hearing the Hun were hurt, I turned from the smouldering ruins and headed for home. Yeah, look at us up there. Belka, Crane, Mason. Alright, so 31 is what we need to beat at the moment. Can't help but feel grief for the recent German loss. Two days ago, Oswald Belker collided in mid-air with one of his own pilots. A group of us flew over Belker's base last night and respectfully dropped a wreath. It seems almost wrong that we have to bomb a command post on the Somme today. The Germans are mourning the loss of their second great air hero. The war stops for nothing. All right, what's this command post look like? Saluting one of our own fallen. I flew quietly alone over a host of memorial services before heading back to the front. There I targeted the designated command post and held my silence as long as I could. Okay. At the crossroads after five weird things, big white roof. Five out of five, one out of one. The dark months of autumn grow darker. Though the RFC won't release any figures about the losses on the Somme, I noticed a stray document on Farah's desk that says we've lost 800 machines to the Germans 359, with 252 of our pilots in the ground for Germany's 43. Our three-man patrol today at Combray will again bring us to face Belka's legacy. The cubs of his Jagster film. Alright, defeat all enemies. My vicars longed for a target as we hovered over the stillness of Combray. It didn't take long before the roar of our engines attracted two D2s with their Spandaus blasting a cold-hearted Vilkerman.
boom. Against heavy odds. Come on, let's throw you on two. A lot better than Richard Duggan. Now we're bewildered. Though General Trenchard calls the Somme our greatest air success of the war, our airstrikes are being cut back by wing headquarters. In the meantime, this Manfred von Richthofen already has ten kills. Apparently he's some kind of baron. Well then, baron, we're patrolling your province at Douai today. Come and get us. Come out and play, baron. The three of us caught a pair of Fokkers off guard and began to close on their tails. Though we had the advantage, we'd surprised them fair and square, so Farah couldn't say anything about our lack of chivalry. My bullet hit him. Okay. Not convinced, but we'll take it. Now I know what's bothering Farrah. He's angry because he hasn't been awarded the Victoria Cross. If one of us had taken out Immelman or Belka, he'd have made it. Now he needs a new target. I wonder if Richthofen counts. Four plane escort taking a reconnaissance flight to the Somme this morning. My bet is that the photographs are going to be costly. Defend the bomber. Not my favourite missions. Whatever our recon plane was after, I hoped it was worth the fight ahead. Two Eindeckers and a Doppeldecker came out of the late afternoon haze with apparent orders to stop all five of us. Five on three. Good luck, Jerry.
I'm a sitting duck. Oh three, thank me. Nice flying. Now officially an ace. Yeah we are. We're climbing. Wilson re-elected, urges peace in Europe. Good luck, Wilson. No surprise to learn that Woodrow Wilson has been re-elected president of the US. What a strange campaign he ran with that slogan. He kept us out of war. We need America here. Farah is keeping constant patrols over Douay. I think he's trying to draw out Richthofen, but that may be my imagination. All four of us on the noon patrol want to see what this Baron looks like. No, you don't. Bulker's successors had learned to be aggressive, often without their teacher's good judgment. We itch to send our two attackers home, feeling far less anxious for their next sortie, if they live to see it. Now that the Huns have evacuated Fort Vaux, Verdun is quieting and more pilots are free to join us. Too bad we're getting our reinforcements so late. Generals Joffre and Haig are under pressure to start delivering victories, and their foray on the Somme is about to cease. Whatever they're planning, I'll bet it involves reconnaissance from the balloons we'll be protecting here at Amiens. Hmm. Balloon protecting. Two of us. We felt a special dedication keeping watch over our balloon, like anxious parents guarding our back garden from the local thugs. While we saw no bullying aircraft, we were sure they'd come.
Now we can. Okay. I'm gonna hop home. Hostilities along the Somme ended two days ago. We're now left wondering who will strike next. The whole notion of honor is becoming harder to understand as tensions around here increase. Confusion abounds. Today's patrol to Douai will be no different. Four of us. There was more confusion in the skies. Below the four of us were three enemy planes sending us a clear message. Keep out of Douai. I wondered who was calling the shots in Belka's stead. Is it here? Is it Aaron? Count? Nah. Kill it, got it. Effective immediately, I'm promoting you to first lieutenant. Try not to get too cocky. Thanks, buddy. Eight missions. Must be the first lieutenant. Break point. The papers report that Emperor Franz Josef of Austria Hungary has died. He is to be succeeded by Charles I. We generally don't see as many Austrian or Hungarian pilots as we do German, but we have strafed their fine ground troops on occasion. Today we'll be puncturing a couple of their balloons posted over Lille. Okay. Don't mind a good old balloon busting party. I wasn't surprised that the balloons of Austria-Hungary appeared little different from their Prussian kin. My companion and I closed on a Germanic pair, ready for any family fighters to appear.
guy in there. He's got a good run on both of them. Watching the art of success, we've blown the Bosch into Bolivian. Oblivion, not Bolivian. Alright, need 24 to get on the scoreboard. German warships are now bombarding the English coast, and Hun seaplanes have launched their first raids on London. If U boats take control of the channel, we all better start learning to speak German. Today's U boat bombing off the Epp isn't my idea of fun. It's my first time flying over water. Hate to say it, but I'd have taken another week of boot camp if I could have learned how to swim. Finally get the U-boat bombing missions. Cool. At last, I came upon a team of U-boats, escorted by a pet the As they opened fire, I maneuvered to drop hundreds of pounds. Okay, that was a little quieter than normal. Mm, nice green open motion. What do we got? Eight bombs. Yay, four out of four. Yes, 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 and we don't have to hit anything else. Hang on, we dropped five, didn't we? Dropped one on the cruiser. I wish all the branches of the military would learn to cooperate. The British have increased naval exercises along the Belgian coast, which puts our bombing raids on hold. Meanwhile, the Huns have established a munitions dump at Ostend that's keeping their U-boats fully stocked. We're left with no choice but to strafe the road there and destroy as much of the site as we can. Okay. Strafe trucks. The lush Belgian shoreline proved an odd backdrop for tearing up a road. I rechecked my trusty ammo drums, wondering if the Germans ever thought this whole thing was a bad mistake. So I was about to shoot him too. 
sadly missed my mark. Yeah, right. Got every single one of them. It's a success. All right, well, I'm going to take a short break here. When we come back, we shall continue on. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.